All right, now the library menu has three specific items that are worth mentioning. And the first one is this rename photo, which you can access by hitting F2. Now we're going to go over renaming in detail when we get to the workflow. We're going to show you how it fits in the workflow. Uh, but I just want you guys to know right now that if you guys need to rename your photos, you can access it from the library menu or by hitting F2. The next option is to convert photos to a DNG file, which is actually unavailable except for when you're importing. So uh, unless you go to this menu, it's only available in import and when you go to the library menu. So if you do need to convert an image to a DNG, this is where you're going to do it. The next item that I wanted to talk about is this previews. And basically, we talked about how when you're importing, it's important to, well, based on if you want speed, you want to import without previews or import with minimal previews. But if you want to actually work on your files right away to actually import the, to render the previews. But I mentioned how you can do those later on. This is how you actually do that. You go to the library menu, click previews, and you're going to hit either render standard size or one-to-one -one previews. Now, if you do standard size, when you zoom into an image, it's still going to load a one-to-one -one preview if it hasn't already been done. So what I typically like to do is I like to render one-to-one -one previews before I start working on my images. And usually depending on the size of the catalog, I might do that say a couple hours before I go work on them. I might do it a night before. If, it, if there's like four or five thousand images, I'll start it the night before because it's going to take quite a while to get through that. Now the time it takes to render previews is going to be based upon uh, three things. Number one, the size of the raw files, the, the megapixel size, or the size of the JPEG files. The larger the files, the longer it's going to take. Number two, the hard drive speed. Um, well, hard drive processor and basically your hardware speed, but mainly your hard drive speed. And then number three, the size of the previews that you're rendering. So if you're doing full-size previews versus standard-sized, um, then it's going to take longer. All right, the other option under here is discarding one-to-one -one previews, which is going to toss all the previews. Now, we talked about previously how in your when you're setting up your preferences, you can actually specify when you want it to discard. Um, I think the Lightroom catalog comes defaulted to discard the previews after 30 days. So they're not going to stay on your hard drive forever. You don't need to worry. But if you want to manually discard them, you can do that right here. Everything else in this menu we've covered. Let's move on to the photo menu.